So I've been getting a lot of comments recently about hecklers. A lot of people say, hey Nathan, I have a lot of friends that like to see my magic tricks, but they always like try and mess me up on purpose and it's really annoying. How can I like get them to stop or how can I fix the trick and not fail every single time? Well, I'm gonna show you guys some of my tips that I really like to do to hecklers just so that they can do exactly what they want to do and you can still get away with the trick and you can still succeed. The main tip that I'm gonna give you is you can literally let the spectator shuffle the deck. Now I'll show you guys what I mean by that. So this is a quick little example of what a trick would look like with a heckler. So let's say the card is selected. Let's say this card over here, the queen of hearts. So perfect, we'll go ahead and we'll leave that card somewhere there in the center of the pack and Oh wait, you wanna shuffle? Okay, here you go. So you can actually riffle shuffle these two halves together. So they say, all right, so I'll go ahead and shuffle those together. And I say, perfect. So look at this, you have these cards completely shuffled together. Like you can literally see the cards getting completely mixed up together and everything. Oh wait, you wanna shuffle? Or, I mean, you wanna cut the cards again? Okay, here, go ahead and cut the cards. You can like give them an overhand shuffle too if you want, it doesn't really matter. Um, but okay, perfect. So now the cards are really, really completely mixed up, right? And uh, in that entire process, the card is controlled to the top. So let's get into a quick tutorial of how you can actually have the spectator shuffle the deck and still control their card. So my favorite way of doing this is basically having the spectator riffle shuffle the deck. So it all happens when you have a card controlled to the top or second from the top of the deck. So let's start when you control the card to the top. So let's say you have a card selected for spades and you're just gonna control this card to the top in any way that you want to, it doesn't really matter. So let's just say I cut the cards like this and the card is now on top. So now, for example, let's say that they want to shuffle a deck. So I say, perfect. So this is how you're gonna have them shuffle the deck. What you're gonna do is you're gonna cut the deck in half to ripple shuffle, but you're not gonna cut it exactly in half. You're actually gonna cut the top half to be a lot more cards than the bottom half. So you're gonna cut a lot more cards, set those down, and then a lot less cards and set those down. And you're gonna say, now please go ahead and riffle shuffle those two halves together. Since this half is larger than this half, what's gonna have a larger chance of happening is when the cards are being riffle shuffled, the cards from the larger packet are going to remain on the top just because this packet is larger than this one. So there's more cards to deal with here than here. 80% of the time, when the spectator riffle shuffles the cards together, their card will actually just end up on top and then you won't even have to do anything. So then you can square up the cards like this and what I like to do is spread them out so they get this nice visual of the cards really getting shuffled together. And then you can just stop right there because they shuffle the deck themselves. Just by luck, they happen to shuffle their cards still to the top of the deck. But let's say that you do this exact same procedure. So you cut more than half and you have them riffle shuffle. Let's say the spectator shuffles the card like in the middle of the deck and it doesn't end up on the top still. So let's say they shuffle and it ends up like this. So you guys can see like that card is not on top anymore. Well, here's how you fix it. It's very, very simple. So you're gonna take the cards and you're gonna square them up just like this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna do that exact same spread so that you can see the cards getting shuffled together. And right before you spread the cards, you're just going to literally use your right hand to lift up just like the top five cards or so from the right hand side and put them on the top. That's all you have to do. You just take out some cards like this. You go boop, boop, like that. And then you spread out the cards instantly. So you do that little move where you take out the cards, put them on top, and then you just instantly spread them out. And a spectator will be completely distracted by this visual moment right here, because now they can really see, ooh, look, the cards are getting shuffled together. So they're gonna be completely distracted by that. They're not gonna remember at all that you just did that. And they're probably not even gonna notice it in the first place. So you're just going to square up the cards now, and now their card is controlled to the top. So now you're probably wondering, wait, how can the spectator cut the deck now, or, or overhand shuffle the deck? Well, this is all I did. I just did a one-hand top palm, as they ask the question. So let's say like, I ask them the question like, are you satisfied with that? Is that a good shuffle? And they say, no, let me shuffle it some more. And I say, okay, here, shuffle it. And then you just palm the card out like that. And now they can do literally whatever they want because this card is not in the deck anymore. So they can literally do as much shuffling as they want to. And then all you do is you just have them set the deck on the table and then say, perfect, we'll uh, get back to that in a little bit. And you just slap the card on top as you drag the deck across the table to pick it up and now that card is on top. I actually have a tutorial for the one-handed top palm right up here. If you guys do not know how to do this move, I would definitely recommend checking that out because it's a super, super helpful move to help you guys with this situation. If you guys wanna palm out a card and have the spectator shuffle the deck, this is a really good way to do it. So there is one more way that I like to deal with hecklers. This is a little bit more risky. It's almost the exact same thing as the first shuffle 
phase that I taught you, but it's a little bit different. So I'll, I'll show it to you guys anyway. So basically what happens is you're gonna control the card second from the top. So not exactly on top, but the second card from the top. So let's say 10 of spades, and you're gonna control that card so that it actually ends up not on top, but second from the top right over there. So now you're gonna do the exact same shuffle sequence. So you're gonna cut more than half the deck here and you're gonna have them shuffle the deck. So if they shuffle both cards to the top, then great. And if they shuffle them in the middle, you're just gonna pull them out, put them on top and then spread the cards out just like this. So now the cards are gonna end up on top no matter what. So the card is still there second from the top. And you say, are you satisfied? And they say, no, I'm still not satisfied. Say here, go ahead and just take the top card, lose it in the middle, and then take the bottom card and lose it in the middle. Because sometimes the hecklers think that you know what the top card is or you know what the bottom card is. So they wanna ruin that for you and they can. So they can lose the top card in the middle, lose the bottom card in the middle. And there you go, the card is controlled to the top. And if they're still not satisfied at this point, you can do the palm sequence. You can palm the card out, say here, go ahead and shuffle the deck even more and you shuffle it. And now the card is still gonna be controlled to the top when you palm the card back on top. And now you can do whatever card trick you want to at this point and you will be able to succeed. So yeah, guys, those are some quick little tips on how to deal with hecklers. Let me know your guys' heckler stories in the comments below. I actually have some fun reading those, but also it's kind of nice. It's just a place to talk about hecklers and we can all share ideas with each other. So it's just a really nice open forum. So yeah, I want you guys to do that in the comment section below. So anyways, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like and subscribe for more videos coming soon. So see you guys next time. Bye.